these prospecting videos, you always see people out there getting a bunch of gold in the creek and all that. It looks beautiful and fun, which it is. This is the part that you don't see. Carrying all these hoses and stuff up these hills. Look at all this. Carrying these hoses and high bankers. Near death experience on the way down with the four. It looks like nothing in the video. This stuff, 60 degree angle. All right, we finally made it down here. No more sampling of the little makeshift high banker. We're gonna actually use this gold hog. We got the super hog. Maybe it was a little bit too big, but eventually we'll be turning it into a dredge out here. So we're gonna give it our first test run today. I got my brother, my cousin, my dad. Rainy day, couldn't ask for much more. All right, we'll see how it goes. We'll get back here in a minute. Okay, here we are setting up the super hog or monster hog, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you guys out there are debating whether to get the Raptor Flare or the Super Hog and you're not sure if you think the one's going to be too big, the answer is yes. This thing is a massive unit. If you're dealing with super steep mountains and a hard location to get to and you're not setting up for a few weeks at least and you're maybe one or two people, the Super Hog is going to be a bit too big. But see here, we're going to be here for many years. We're going to be turning this property into a mine and we're going to be dredging it we're going to be here for a long time so we went with the bigger one our plan is to eventually feed this with a conveyor but you know when you set it up in prospecting mode you have that gap down there we just cut us a piece of wood put it in there we'll see how that works so here we got the 18 inch bottom 12 inch top huge high banker i mean this thing i don't even know if we're going to be able to feed it it's just three of us we'll see how it works but uh this creek's got quite a bit of gold in it Every pan's got at least five, six good chunky colors for Georgia anyway. So we're setting this thing up. Um, I recommend setting it up with the legs in it all the way low and then raising it up as you can to get your get your angles. So here it is. Let set it up, hook up the pump. I'm sure something will go wrong and then we'll improvise and figure it out from there. All right, about an hour setup, not too bad for what we got going. We got the super hog this video does no justice this thing is a monster unit but to be honest it wasn't that hard to put together as far as ease goes it's got some wing nuts you know keep it level bring it level a couple things we're going to try to feed it pans out of the creek are, are some of the best pans i've ever seen in georgia pretty catchable gold chunky coarser stuff no you know not, not, not like a bunch of specks we're getting maybe six seven some 10 15 colors really really good for Georgia pretty coarse catchable stuff Let's see if I can see here see pretty catchable stuff a little bit of mercury we'll have to deal with it There's our first run. This worked great. We used this as a kicker box here. Let me get in. We used our cleanup sluice as a kicker box off to the side, but we actually needed to build this up a little bit. It was too slippery. But I can't be happier with this thing. I'm extremely happy. I think we need a little bit more water. But we found out that the pump was uh, getting clogged up. Really, we should have that upriver from us. But we um, really didn't have an option here, so we'll have to deal with that. But this thing is running really good. We got a lot of garnets here, so I used a top box. I did a little bit more pitch. They say uh, do a eight to 11 on the top. We went with 11, because we got a really heavy garnets, and we're dealing with a lot of clay. 
I left the clay claw. This is just really a test run. But this thing is is awesome. The Raptor Flare or the Super Hog. These 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 machines are just absolutely perfect. All the bugs have been worked out. These guys have been working on them for years and they get better and better. Really happy with the hopper. The cool part about this here, you have this little uh, identification bar. It's not really for catching gold, but this is a good way to uh, sample. If you want to do a quick some samples, you're going to have some pretty good gold in there. I think, uh, say that, hard to see in here. Right in here, we got us a nice little flank. Let's see if I can... Right in here, nice little piece. So, I'm gonna pan this out now. Show you the pan. But yeah, couldn't be happier with this thing. I think I need a little bit more powerful pump. And I gotta get this thing up a little bit further. But man, man, is this fun. Sloppy and muggy here. Slip fast, but it's fun. We got pops up here, metal detecting. Brother and cousin take a very well-deserved Slim Jim sandwich break. Told you we we're going to pan that top of that uh, identification spot on the hopper right here. I actually really like this thing. I always thought there should be a little spot there, but the way they got it here, the way Doc's got it, <clears throat> it really doesn't stop or clog anything up. It uh, is perfect there. Nice little screen under it, and it definitely catches gold. It looked a little caked, but... Hey, this is our first time running it. We, you know, everyone that's mined gold you knows everything takes dialing in. And I mean, when I used to run my five inch dredge up here, that would take us good five, six days before we would get our box dialed in right. And anytime we moved, it would take, you know, a few more days and so. But this material is really interesting. I've been all over Georgia, Dahlonega, Cleveland, everywhere. And uh, I've never seen so many garnets. This material is just completely garnet. If you were a big commercial op, you'd probably have to run hydraulic riffles to get this stuff going through. I promised Doc I'd show that flow pan, but it was a little, a little shallow here. So we got a bigger creek on the property further down. I'm going to try to do a video of running the flow pan. I mean, I tried it. I really liked it. I think it's awesome. I got a little technique I think we might have found out. My brother was shoveling into it as I kept concentrating it with the flow pan. And it uh, seemed to work really good. We'll do a video on that later. So here's the top of that box. We ran for a little under an hour, maybe about 50 minutes. Our pump got clogged, but here's some of our gold out of that top spot there. A couple really nice pieces in there. But what I'm interested in here is the pieces are really, really jagged. Here's that piece here, it's stuck on the side. Yeah, look at that piece, it's really sharp. That has not gone very far. Beautiful gold. This is what it's all about right here. I'm about to pan this up. Look at the concentrates. Look at the garnet. It's almost all garnet balls. Crazy, wicked heavy. Got a little fire going. Guys worked hard. Great little setup. Now we eat good. Good. Okay, here's the fruits of our labor, about an hour and a half. First time run with the Super Hog. As you can see here, we're dealing with an area that's been mined in the past. So there's a ton of mercury in there. But look how yellow this stuff. Aurora Georgia's got some of the purest gold in the world. Like no other gold, it's so beautiful.